Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, and in this video, part of a series, I'll be showing you how to create intricate spline shapes with Mocha's magnetic and freehand tools, and how to edit spline-based masks. I'm in Final Cut Pro with this clip of two cinema goers on a timeline. I've applied the Continuum Looks effect to a clip, and I've pressed Mocha Mask to isolate the effect. Looks is free for all Final Cut users, and includes Mocha. For really complex shapes, you might find that placing many points manually with the Bezier or X-Spline tools is a little tedious, and the Magnetic tool, found here, is a better choice. These tools can be used with a mouse, but if you have a graphics tablet like the Wacom I'm using, you'll have a better experience. The Magnetic tool looks for high contrast areas, and all you need to do is click to start, then move around the edge you want to select. If the correct high contrast edge is selected, just keep moving. However, if the line jumps to the wrong spot, or if you just want to lock in the line you've already got, click to place a point manually. You can click as many times as you want, and you might need to in complex areas, but eventually you'll come back to the starting point and can right-click to close the shape. The magnetic line will now become an X-spline shape with many points, and you can tweak any of these points if you need to before tracking, as before. While a complex shape like this will track well if it moves as a single unit, if it moves in separate planes, you might have better luck tracking a combination of separate shapes on separate layers. Another alternative, helpful when the edges are complex but not very distinct, or when you just want a rough edge selection, is to use the freehand tool. With this tool, best used with a graphics tablet, you can just hold the mouse button down and move around the edge of the selection, like this. Both the magnetic tool and the freehand tool come in plus versions, so you can add to an existing shape on the same layer if you wish. Another important feature that works with any tool, but which is especially handy with these tools, is that any selected point can be repositioned with the arrow keys. Pressing the curly braces selects the next or previous point around the shape, and if you want to select many points at once, you can use the marquee selection tool to drag a box around several points at once, or the lasso selection tool to drag a more random area. These points can then all be tweaked with the arrow keys at the same time. Tracking with a complex shape like this can be tricky, and in a later tutorial I'll show you how to use shape keyframes to manually tweak the shape at different points in time. Next up though, I'll show you how to use the Area Brush tool. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!